of this park is when we moved here, me and my brother just wanted to play. Mm. So we would always come here, we would always play football here, and then that's when we like got to meet a lot of new people, got like met a lot of friends here, and then we would just keep coming back and playing. He just helps me like um, with my technique, and because he's like older than me, he has more knowledge of the foot, like of football. Mm. So he just tries to help me out. We try to be like really supportive of each other, but then of course there's always going to be rivalry. And then um, usually like when we're playing a game, like what will happen is we'll like go outside. We would want to play for maybe like half an hour, but then we would just be end up playing for like two hours because every time the person who lost want to win. So then we just keep <laughs> going. When I moved here, um, the style of football was like really different, kind of from Poland to England. And then, so I feel like you guys really helped me um, get that kind of um, technique for like academy level. Okay. To just stay how like I was playing with the style where I like pass and move, but then also kind of um, add in that little like drive and just to be creative. When did you start getting followers on Instagram? In three years ago, I started getting like that's when I started just getting more followers. So I think that's when I kind of when I realised that um, I started putting more football content, and then I switched it from private to public. Have there been any challenges since then? I mostly get positive messages, but sometimes there are um, a few um, not so nice messages. But I just tend to ignore that. My advice would just be to like not let the people um, get you down, and then because I think the best way is to ignore it. But if it is getting to a point maybe where you feel like it's negatively affecting you, or maybe you're, you feel like you're being threatened by it or something like that, then I feel like you should tell an ad or maybe you trust or just block them. to females trying to get into an academy were just to like make sure to believe in yourself and your football abilities and um, always keep working on yourself um, get advice from like others train of them to like help them motivate you as well okay. and just keep working hard yeah because that's the only way you're gonna get better and you spoke about uh, girls contacting clubs directly do you mind explaining a little bit more about that yeah, so what would happen is you go to the club website, Yeah. you would, because um, on there it would have the dates for when the trials, like the open trials are, Yeah. and you would have to um, apply, and then they will invite you, and then you'll go to attend to a training, and in that training you'll be, like, what will happen is you'll be training with the current girls yeah. and then so then they have like a benchmark so they could kind of compare okay and then um, if you manage to show what you've got and you've done a good job then what they do they end up inviting you to a second one okay. which there usually is and right. then after that one that's when they make their decisions okay. and hopefully you get in my dream is to one day become a professional footballer and to hopefully like be involved in the World Cup and win and also just to like make everyone proud who helped me and supported me through my um, sporting career.